In this tutorial I will show you how to import a raster image into AutoCAD and then scale it so that you can begin to trace over the image and create vector line work based on a raster image. You can start by opening a new file. From the templates I'll choose the ACAD ISO. Uh, this should automatically open a blank file which has the units preset to millimeters. I can double check that by clicking on the AutoCAD icon in the upper left corner and then going down to drawing utilities and units. And here we can see our units are set to millimeters. Um, everything else looks fine as well. We we'll say okay. So I'm gonna start off by importing my raster image click on the insert tab at the top and then go to attach and then this will ask me to basically navigate to my to my image um, once you find your image you'll get this dialog box which has a few options in this pane you have a preview of your image um, under path type you have a few options either full path or relative path or uh, no path. Insertion point, we can check this and then we can place it wherever we want. If we leave it unchecked, it would just place it at the origin 0, 0, 0, which is fine. Scale, we don't need to adjust because we will do that once we import the image. Um, rotation uh, should be fine as well. So we'll just say OK. And then if we zoom out, we can see the image here at our origin. Um, the other way we could have imported that is by typing xref and hitting enter and then we get this dialog box um, and if you click on this a pull down next to the DWG icon which uh, allows you to change to attach image um, and a few other options as well. So if we attach image we basically get the same the same options of navigating towards our towards our image. Um, so now we have our image. The first problem is it's quite bright. I can barely see my cursor over top of it. So to fix that, I'm going to select the image. And AutoCAD automatically switches to the image tab where I can adjust this fader. And basically turn down the, the contrast in this image, allowing me to see my cursor and line work on top of it much easier. So uh, next, we will try to figure out how big this image is. We can use this scale here in the bottom of the image. We can go ahead and measure it, typing distance, and click one end of the scale, and then click near the other end of the scale, and that says 69.2 millimeters. So that is very small in comparison to what we actually want, which is five meters or 5,000 millimeters. So rather than doing the math and multiplying this image by a, a specific number, we can scale by reference. So what I would do first is create a line of reference, basically a, a line that's 5,000 millimeters long or five meters long which is what I want this part of the image to be when it's all scaled accurately. Um, so I will get as close as I can to one end of the, the scale in the image. Then I will draw a line that is uh, five meters long or 5,000 millimeters. And if I zoom out, I'll hit enter to complete the command. And you can see this line represents actually five meters. So um, next all we have to do is scale up this image so that uh, the scale in the image matches the five meter long line. So I will select the image and then go back to my home tab at the top. In the modify tools you'll find scale. If I click on that down at the bottom here it's asking me to select my object and I want to scale my image so I will select the image and hit enter 
And now at the bottom it's asking at the bottom it's asking me to specify a base point. That's basically the point around which I want to scale the object. So I will use the starting point of my line and which is also the starting point of the scale in the image. I'll click there once. And now it's saying specify 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 scale factor and then in parentheses it says copy or reference. In those brackets those are my two additional options. I can choose to scale this as a copy um, which I do not want to do this time or I can scale it with reference which which is what I want. So in order to activate one or the other of those commands I could type C for copy or R for reference. So I will type R for reference and hit enter. Now it's asking me for reference length. My reference length is the length of the scale in the drawing. First I will click one end of my scale which is also the uh, base point of my whole scaling operation. Now it's asking for the reference length which is the length of the scale in the raster image. So I will get as close as I can to the other end of this scale and click a second time. Now you'll see it's asking for a new length. And the new length is the length of my five meter long line. So I will snap to the end of that line. And now as you can see, my five meter long line and my five meter scale in the image are exactly the same. And from here, I can set up a few layers and then begin to trace over this image and recreate this as an AutoCAD drawing.